Hey, welcome to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about Next.js, but to be more specific, I want to talk about an approach that I took with it that maybe isn't super common, but I think it can help a lot of people out there. Essentially, I've been meaning to redesign my website for a long time, for about a decade now. The previous design was a decade old, as you can clearly see here. Um, and in the redesign, I wanted to use modern technology like Next.js, Tailwind, so on and so forth. However, I didn't have the time, like this week or this month, to go through and preserve all of my old URLs, right? So I've had my website for like 14 years, so I've got a lot of different blog posts and uh, different URLs that have built up like SEO rank or Google rank or, you know, that bring in a decent amount of traffic. And I didn't have time right now um, to port over like literally every single URL and feature into my new redesign site. But I still wanted to use the new tech like Next and Tailwind. So, and this will be a quick video, I just wanted to let you know that this is an option because I didn't know that this was an option. Essentially, I wasn't ready to completely host my new website on a service like Vercel or Netlify. Um, I needed to, for now, for the time being, like for the next at least like month or so, uh, I needed to leave it on the traditional WordPress, PHP, you know, just generic hosting that it was already on. So you can see my new homepage is using Next.js and Tailwind and like single page application navigations, right? Like I can click back and forth between these different products. They're getting their own URLs. Like if I hard refresh, this page has its own unique content, but then the Next.js um, like single page application navigation is kicking in. So you're getting the best of both worlds. This is all powered by Next and Tailwind and it's an awesome developer experience. Um, but I haven't lost, like this is my real live website, I haven't lost all of these other URLs. I mean, I, I had a ton of blog posts and different content that I wasn't ready to give up and I also wasn't ready to port it over into like a super modern site from scratch. So I guess the whole point of this video, that just sort of a public service announcement, is you don't, and I thought, I wrongfully thought, that you need to fully adopt Next for your website. I didn't realize that you could sort of incrementally adopt it for just a portion of your website and then just output completely static HTML. So this isn't using any sort of like uh, Vercel server components. Like it's literally just plain HTML that I plopped up on my traditional PHP WordPress host. So what I want to show you is the configuration and I actually have a GIST or GitHub link, a GIST or GitHub link to share this with you, but my next config.js file it's just three properties, right? So you're setting X output to export. This is when you, so that when you run npm run build, it outputs, you know, traditional files instead of needing anything from the server whatsoever. And then trailing slash, this is really cool. Let me explain what that does. Instead of just placing HTML files in the root of your folder, uh, it actually creates like a folder, right? Like Laravel dash course. And then you go inside that and it creates index.html. So that way you're getting clean, great looking URLs, even if your server, you know, with, with zero server configuration. And then finally, you do need to set images unoptimized to true. Obviously, you want this in a perfect environment, like on Vercel's hosting system, you would not disable that, you would leave that enabled. But in order to get this to work perfectly with just an old fashioned, you know, dinosaur type of web host, these were the settings that I used. And then it's really cool, you just run npm run build, it creates an out or a dist folder for you. And then you can literally host those files anywhere on any type of old fashioned server. So. I'm really excited about this. Um, you can check out my new website. It's just learnwebcode.com. My homepage now lists very prominently all nine of my premium courses. And when you click through them, it's single page application navigation. It's instant, it's great. I'm using Tailwind. Uh, I'm using React components so I don't duplicate Tailwind classes everywhere. This was just in a really fun developer experience and I wish I would have done it sooner. The reason I didn't do it sooner was I thought I would have to completely move over my entire website just in order to get the new homepage. But I have the best of both worlds for now. Long term, and I'll make additional videos on this in the future, I eventually, like when time allows over the next weeks and months, I do wanna move over my entire website, every single page, every single blog post URL into, you know, a complete solution powered by Next.js and then I wanna host it on Vercel 
because it's going to be a lot fa faster, right? Like that's the best possible page load speeds. Anyways, uh, if you're anything like me and you have an existing website where you might want to use sort of a hybrid approach like this, I have uh, a gist and I've just shared my next config.js file. You can find a link to this in the description below. Hopefully these prop, they're not groundbreaking, but hopefully they help you out. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. I'll see you in the next one very soon.